What's up guys, today we're doing Jacob Breland, the tight end out of Oregon. Uh, first thing to say here, he's a guy who had a very serious knee injury uh, quite early on in this 2019 season, tearing his ACL. Um, however, we did see some very productive work in the early season, as we're seeing on tape here. Showed ability to take catches um, up the seam, and also a lot of design screens and kind of outplays, as we're seeing on that play there. And another one here. What you certainly notice on his film is he has very good hands. He's very comfortable taking the ball away from his body, really making the most of his catch radius as a 6'5 guy. Um, he'll also go down to get low balls. He plays well in contested traffic, whether that's high pointing or taking a ball into contact over the middle. Certainly we see some blocking ability. Uh, he's certainly good at moving out to the blocking in line, he can struggle, he can frame well, but sort of power and base isn't always set well. Dead lower half, um, what I mean is he can be pushed back from his hips. He's not setting and using his flex at the waist. Uh, but he shows a nice back shoulder there as well. So in summary, he's a guy who, it really comes down to the medical on his knee. If he gets a bad medical grade, he's more than likely going undrafted. Uh, especially this year where teams will have no confidence with very little visits planned. Uh, little little time to do work with guys one-to-one. -one. However, if he can recover, I really see him as a good kind of tight end two kind of role. He has this ability to complement others in, in the game design. Um, so it'd be a nice kind of relief valve for a quarterback as in shallows, especially against zone. Um, there's certainly improvement in inline blocking, but I think he has the, kind of the size to do that, 6'5", 250. Um, so let's see, guys. Let me know your thoughts on him. That's all from me. See ya.